Hi everyone, I'm Robin with Robin's Re3 and I'm billing in tonight for Rachel with Rachel's Unique Crafts. So I hope you can join me. We're going to have a little fun tonight. Rachel is the Dollar Tree Queen so I had to include Hi everyone. some... Oops. Fun tonight. Rachel... So I had to include something from the Dollar Tree. So I'm including a white set in this uh, live because that's all I got. <laughs> Rachel is like the queen of Dollar Tree items and crafts. And I can do Dollar Tree, but I don't have enough stuff. But what I did was in the top, and let me pin that, I put a link to the noodles. Now the noodles are white. And the only place I could find white, and look how long <laughs> they are, is in um, on Amazon. So I posted the link in case anybody's interested in making these. These make awesome little snowmen and people. I use these a lot for a lot of things. They're lightweight, so I actually have covers that I cover these with, and they work so nice in a wreath. So I thought we'd make some little snowmen tonight. What I have, and I didn't measure it, I have a piece about 11 inches long by about five inches wide. And what I did was I took some ribbon all right, and I covered the base with the ribbon because what we're going to do once we finish up these snowmen, we're actually going to attach them to this greenery and we're going to attach the greenery to the board to give it some stability. All right, because this is a little, little wobbly. All right, so that's the plan. Now, what I did was I took a tool, a pool noodle and I sliced it up. I actually have like an electric knife um, blade and it's very, very sharp. This thing slices through it like butter. So, hey, there's my girl. She better be in bed resting. So that's what we're going to use tonight. Um, I drew some little faces on there. Now we have to glue the um, noses. So I already did one, and this is, I think, the little little one. You are so welcome. Anything for my Rachel. We just want you to get better, 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 better. If you all wouldn't mind sprinkling, I'd really appreciate it. We're trying to keep the algorithms going on Rachel's page in her absence. So that would be great. And Rach, if you're up to it and you want to share it on my page to bring people over, that would be awesome. The more the merrier. Hi, Diane. Welcome. Yes, we are making some little snowmen. This is out of a large, long white pool noodle. I put in the top of the link there, the link where you can get these white pool noodles. So, because you can't find white. You can find just about every other color, but these are awesome. Because I actually have um, covers that I cover these with, with different characters on them. And the white does not show through the fabric. They're lightweight. Um, they're easy to ship. Just a really fun, fun item. All right, so we have to finish our other two snowmen. Snow people, snow family, whatever you want to call it. And all I did was take a black magic marker and I just drew a face on there. All right, so that's our other one. And then let's get the daddy-o here. These were noses from Doris 
that I got last year. And all I did was take a sleeve of fleece and I just sewed it. You could hot glue it. Um, I just sewed it in a tube form, put a hem on it so when I turn it up, it's all nice and secure. So we're just going to put that over the top. Isn't it cute? And then I have some, um, some fancy roping here. That came from, it's called metallic cording is what it's called. So we're using that. Welcome. We're just popping on. Tell Rachel you hope she gets better real soon. I'm not used to going live <laughs> three days or possibly four in a week. But for my Rachel, we'll do just about anything. Right, Rach? All right. So let's fix him. Okay, so we got one made. We got two made. Got a loose string there. I even tested today to make sure I could go live because we didn't want any issues. But these are three little snow people. And I cut them in various lengths. And fleece is awesome to work with because it does not unravel. So you can cut it and leave your seam, your, um, your cut, without seaming it, and it will not fray. I love working with fleece. Alright, so we got three snow people here. I actually have some real coal. We had a coal bin, so we're going to put some buttons on these people down the front. I will tell you that when you're working with hot glue on a noodle, it will um, sink in a little from the temperature. So we're just giving them some real coal buttons down the front. Can you all see okay and can you hear me okay? We just want to make sure that we take care of our Rachel. Isn't that cute? Okay, so that's one. Then we have this one to do. Now notice I'm doing one at a time because I don't want that glue to sink down in Till I have that piece of coal in place. So if I put too many glue dots, it will be sinking in before I get my coal on there. And we don't want that. So it's nice. It kind of sinks right in there for you and gives it a good hold. Say hello when you pop on. I'm not Rachel, I'm Robin with Robin's Re3. I'm filling in for Rachel because we want her to get all better. And I know you're used to seeing Rachel, but we're just helping her out tonight. She needs to take it easy and get better soon. Oh, working with the coal can be dirty, people. I said to my husband tonight, I wish I had something similar to coal that I could put on the snow people. And he said, we got a coal bin down there. I had totally forgot. I thought we were totally out of coal. But we weren't. This one's a little bit longer, so I'm going to put two more on him. There we go. And one more piece. 
There we go. Get this messy stuff off my way. Wouldn't want to be bad at Christmas time and get coal in my stockings. It's pretty dirty. There. You will put that there and probably knock it down later. There. All right. So we've got our snow people in place. Now, this is. Um, it says a 24 inch um, swag from Sims. I thought I had a smaller one. Let me just look. No, that's actually longer. We'll go ahead and use this one. Now what I'm actually going to do is before I shoot a staple into this to hold it on the wood. I'm actually going to take these and this is another thing that's really nice about these pool noodles. They have a hole right up the middle. So my plan is to take this piece of tinsel tie, put it up through here, twist it Give it a good twist. And then we're going to stick this guy right down the middle. And see how that's just going to hold him? Yes, you have to stay in bed all night long. And all day long. You only get up to eat. <laughs> and that's it. Back to bed, girl. It's the only way you're going to get better. And I think people are going to get sick of my projects. Thank you, Rach. We're used to your awesome crafts. I'm going to bend that down a little. So my next one is going to go right over. Isn't that looking cute? Come on. Are you guys being shy? Or can I not read your comments? Or am I not? Doing good. Oh, there we go. Nope, no comments. Putting everybody to sleep. Isn't that cute? All right, and we're going to put another one on here. Twist it a little. And if I have to, I can glue it, but I'm going to see if I can do it without gluing it. Because it's always nice at the end of the season to take it apart and store it. And this way I can just take everything right off. Okay, let me see how that looks. I kind of like it. You know what I forgot? We need, I don't know if they need a scarf. Yeah, why not? Let's give them a scarf. This is wired ribbon. It's just the right size for these. I think this is 7 eighths. And rather than waste all that, we're going to just do that. And this is nice because it has wire in it, so you can bend it. We could fray the end like a scarf. There we go. Uh, 
Um, let's do one with the black. Yep, they're on Amazon, Rach. I actually have a project coming up that um, I'm going to be making some um, nutcrackers, and I'll be using those for the nutcrackers. I have used them for gnomes before, too. Might as well make each one of them different. So let's use the gray. Rachel, do you have a Sam's Club near you? Hey, Miss Delane, how are you? Thank you for joining us. Rachel is on. She tells me she's resting. So, hopefully she is. I'm going to have to turn this around for a minute. Actually, <laughs> it's not hooked up yet. Cute little snow family. Right? Alright, All right. so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to staple, find where my, right there, I'm going to staple this branch, this um, swag to the base, that way it'll give it some stability. Thank you, Miss Patsy. How are you? We are taking care of our girl. We want her to rest, rest, rest. They just got their ribbon out today, Rachel, or up here. I know that's mean. Sorry. But I did pick up extra, so if there's something you want. I got your back, girlfriend. Now let's kind of give this, this is my cordless stapler. I love it. It's rechargeable. All right, see there? Look. Not going anywhere. All right, so I thought these were kind of cool because they have ice on them. It looks like ice. I'm sorry if you hear my puppies. They're quite active tonight. And they are wound for sound. So there we got some ice in there. So it looks cold enough for these, this family. There we go. Let me move this. Now, Rachel is our Dollar Tree Queen. I'm not. <laughs> So, <laughs> I'm adding Dollar Tree lights to this thing just to give it a little pizzazz. That's as far as I go, Rachel. I can't compete with Rachel's beautiful crafts. So, I thought, we'll just throw some Dollar Tree lights in there for you all. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Doesn't that look festive? That's as far as Dollar Tree I'm going, Rach. In fact, I'm going to put it under the swag so it kind of like shows up. And I didn't have clear. I only had multicolored, so we're stuck with it. 
<laughs> You're so welcome. I spent way more on ribbon today than I should have, and I thought, well, Rachel probably needs some. So no problem. And I didn't want to call you because if you were sleeping, I wanted you to be sleeping. All right, so there's that. But I think we need a little bow in here. Now, I do have this in my shop. It is snowman ribbon, so I thought we'd put some of that in there. But I thought I'd put a red base against it. Now, you could even use... Where is it? If you wanted to go all buffalo plaid, you could even use a buffalo plaid with this. But I thought this would kind of look cute with, I'm thinking, this in back. Just a small bow right here with this in the front. And maybe we'll add a little bit of that too. So let me just kind of move it over here to the side. And I have silver balls that I thought would be kind of cute in here too. So let's go ahead and do that. Thank you all for joining. Rachel's on, so wish her well. And I'm only going to do like a little, little loop here. We don't need a very big one for this. So I'm going to think I'm going to do three and three. Those just joining, I'm Robin with Robin's Re3. I'm filling in for Rachel tonight. We want her to rest, rest, rest. Right, Mama Patsy? She needs to rest. Do you need anything delivered to the house? Now, let's see if I can get my snowmen to go the same way that I want them to go. Oh yeah, this is going to work out okay. Not as far as that goes. So. I'm going to cut it off here. Again, I'm sorry if you hear the puppies, but this is their time to shine at night, and this is when they get the rowdiest. So then I'm going to put my ribbon tail going down this way. I don't know if you all know, but I love, absolutely love, love, love snowmen. So when I decorate for snowmen, I try not to make it look like Christmas um, because I have snowmen up almost all year long if I could. So now with this one, I'm going to turn it over because I want to hide that cut that I made in the back. Okay, we're going to have these two on this side. That's not going to work. Oh, well. We'll just put it like that. All right. I thought I had a zip tie. Yes, I did. And then we'll need a piece of green tinsel tie from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> All right. I got two. Hi, Dawn. Welcome. We're making Rachel rest. She's on here, but we're still making a rest. Puppies are crazy tonight. I, we could not get them to calm down the other night. It, there's one, he likes to sit there and just... Hear him? He sits and he tattles and barks at the other ones playing. He like doesn't get in there with them. He just barks at them. It's hilarious. My husband said, why, are, why is this litter so noisy? And I said, they take after Grandmom. I have Grandmom, Grandpop, Mom, and Dad's at my girlfriend's, and they are just unbelievable. And that's Grandmom. She's my noisy girl. She tattles on everybody. 
So I'm going to trim this because we don't want that showing. And then we're going to dovetail the snowman tails here. Yeah, I think we're going to go live for her on Friday night, too, and make her rest the entire weekend. This thing has kicked her in the butt, so we want her better. We don't want her trying too soon and then getting worse. So... All right, let's see where we can put this in the front. And then we'll see if we can add some, we could even add some furries in here. Uh, oh no, we may end up adding the silver balls. And what I should have done was before I stapled, I should have attach the bow but there's still a space under here actually yes I can go on either side of the uh, snow dad here and tie it in back actually what am I doing just take them off just take them off and twist it around the snow dad's stand and then put the snow, snow dad back on. Now for those just joining, I went ahead and I added, I pinned at the top the link to where you can get these, um, the white, white um, pool noodle. It's on Amazon. It's the only place I found white. more of the red up in the back. Like I said, the ribbon is in my shop. If anybody wants that. We gotta turn this around. Those heads are upside down. There we go. Now, we've got like silver in the ribbon. There's glitter on it. So, we're going to go ahead and see if we add some silver balls to this to see what it looks like. I got balls. Lots and lots of balls. I think I like the glittered ones. We can add about maybe... Now, see, I like the glittered ones. Yep. I'm losing my balls. Rachel, help. <laughs> there we go. Got it. Let's get this out of the way. Now, I don't know if any of you have ever worked with these before, but these are the shatterproof ones, and these are awesome when you have like a pine wreath or something. Because all you have to do is put a little bit of glue in there and it will just attach right to it. Hi Nancy, welcome. If you all wouldn't mind sprinkling for Rachel, we'd really appreciate it. See that? Look at that. I don't know if we're going to add five or if we're going to add four or three. We could even go with one in the middle, couldn't we? And do like our triangle. And that will actually... Oh, this is a lot of glitter. So let's see, maybe back in here. Oh, here's... Oh. we got to find the end of one. Nope, don't want it there. 
Nope, don't want it there either. I'm going to put it right on here. See if I can get it on there. It's got a funky end to it. It's curled up. Nope, oh, that's not fitting on that one. Let's see. Here's one down here. Can you hear them? <laughs> oh, thank you, Dawn. Dawn's a favorite on my Facebook page, too. She comes up with the neatest designs. All right, so let's see. There's our little snow family. But do I need more? Why not? Let's add more. Let's put this in the middle. And let's make sure we got our tails down. There we go. And let's put one back here. Kind of over here. And if you don't have a hole big enough, you stick your glue gun in there and you push your glue gun in harder and harder and harder because what it actually does is it melts a bigger hole for you. So if the hole they give you is not big enough, you melt yourself a bigger one. Man, this isn't going to go well with my project tomorrow because <laughs> my project tomorrow is going to have glitter all over it. You watch. And we're doing Halloween tomorrow. All right. There should be another one here. There we go. So we got Dollar Tree light set, and we got Dollar Tree tinsel ties. Let's pick this up, move that forward, and there we go. What do you think? Do you like our little family, our snow family? And that didn't take us very long at all, did it? No, that was pretty good. That's Rachel time. We got it. We did Rachel time. Um, at the present time, I don't have any snowflakes. We had cut some out of the um, MDF, and they were so thick and so hard to get in between. Um, try, so you can't try Doris anymore because they went out of business. And now Michael's is taken over for them. Um, I'm trying to think who would have them. I would check on Amazon. Now, Craft Outlet has a bunch of stuff. Um, you know, we could kind of work this. I want to get a clear set. I, I like the clear in this better than the multicolored, so... I'm not going to attach it. I'm just going to get a clear set. I have snowflake ribbon, but no snowflakes. Thank you, Rachel. Very easy. I mean, it was just a piece of wood that we stapled the uh, swag to after we attached the tinsel tie for the snow people. And the snow people come off easy. Got a hole in here for um, easy placement, take on and off for decoration. 
And see, this is something that isn't just Christmas. I can leave it up all winter long. And that's my um, goal. Now, we got some new stuff we're going to show tomorrow at 2 Eastern Standard Time. But I think we're done. And I'll probably go live for Rachel on um, Friday too. We're going to give her the long week to, to rest up. You are so welcome. I could cut you some snowflakes, um, Dawn, if you want to. Um, if you want to paint them, I could have my husband cut some. This is a ribbon from Sam's. There you go. Simple cut. And I still have a lot left of that one big piece. So, and usually you get six in a pack. And the shipping is not that much either. See, that's how it comes. So, because they, they weigh hardly anything. Oh, you get four, excuse me. But I think the link I found had six. So, it came from Minnesota, don't you know? You are so welcome, and you know I'll do it any time. So, we'll be back here on Friday night for Rachel. I hope you can all join me. I actually have a Dollar Tree project planned. So, <laughs> I have to stay in the groove with what Rachel does. So we will do a Dollar Tree project on Friday if you want to join us. We'd love to have you. All right, get to making something crafty, make it beautiful, and have a great time. Did I say that right, Rachel? <laughs> I don't think I did. <laughs> I think I butchered it. <laughs> but there you go. All right. All right, you all have a great evening, and thank you. And keep Rachel in your prayers. All right, good night, Miss Patsy. Good night, Delane. And anybody else I forgot who else joined us? Somebody else. Nancy and... Yeah, Nancy and Dawn. All right, good night.